Today, I'm going to be reviewing this stupid mask. Ba 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 da 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 ba 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 Hello everyone and welcome to the Rip Off Review. Today, I'm going to be taking a look at set number LLCABR3, the Brit built Kanoe Hal Mask. This was a promotional item for Legoland California, released in 2001, contains approximately 168 pieces exactly, and was sold for some money. But first I'd like to get my disclaimer out of the way. Just because an opinion is expressed in this video it does not mean it is my opinion. I like to keep these reviews as objective as possible, so I will only be sharing opinions that the community itself has expressed over the years. Although really, when you stop to think about it, that makes me more of an aggregate rather than an objective source of information. However, I will also be presenting objective facts about the set that I can present on camera. Speaking of which, this set is made of bricks. This is liked by a lot of people as it links Bionicle with the larger LEGO family and allows the how to be made at a much bigger size. However, some may not like it because it is made out of bricks, because the rest of Bionicle sets are not made out of bricks. Next, we have the colour. This set is red, which a lot of people may like, because Tahu's mask is red. However, some people may not like it, because the set is red, because they do not like red. Furthermore, this is a Bionicle set. Some people may like this if they like Bionicle. However, this is a feature that some may not like if they do not like Bionicle. <laughs> Alright, sorry, I can't keep this up. Hello everybody, it's Tammy. So this is genuinely a little curiosity item. It is essentially a kind of mosaic of the Kanoe How Mask, it's only two studs thick, however I have cheated a bit in building mine because, well, this set uses an awful lot of uncommon small pieces, such as 1x1 plates that aren't actually very common and are surprisingly expensive on Bricklink if you were looking to build this yourself. The overall shape of this build is actually a pretty good recreation of its construction counterpart, albeit with some rough stepping in trying to portray the mask's curves. The attempt at depth, albeit very limited, is appreciated as it preserves the mask's distinctive brow and indented cheeks. This set originally came in three different versions, identical in build, with just the coloured parts swapped out for red, blue and green. Obviously we're looking at red here and green is the one that has the most reference photos. However, if you'd like to make your own in even more colours, I've created some renders to give you an idea of how that would look. I even had a stab at modifying the build to show the eyes and face underneath, because of course I did. If you want to build this for yourself, the parts lists are available on Bricklink and Brickset. Whilst I haven't included detailed instructions, as the build is essentially flat, I have been able to create a diagram showing the sizes of which piece to use, and in some areas you've actually got some flexibility in using different configurations of bricks to make the same shape, which I've had to do here. <laughs> I know that this is an item that has eluded many, and I hope I've helped remove some of the shroud of mystery around it, and made it a little bit easier for you if you want to make your own. That's all for now. The opening was of course a parody on the reviews by TTV and LJ, who is of course the king of Barnacle Reviews, and I have every respect for. Thank you to them for all the work they've put into running the Canon Contest this year. And thank you to the rest of you for watching, and I'll see you soon for another video. Bye! LLC, ABR, 123, DIY, SOS, BRB, LOL.